Hello and salon. Welcome to Mom's Persian Kitchen. Today is January 1st, 2022. My resolution for this year is to videotape one recipe per month and dedicate this to my three sons, Kayvon, Sasa, and Cyrus, and my future grandchildren and my future daughter-in-law. Thank you and welcome. I'm making one of my favorite dish, bagali polo. Typically, bagali polo goes with lamb shank, white fish, or any fish, or chicken. As you can see, I have fresh dill. This is two bunch of uh, dill, which was washed and chopped. And dry. You want it to be not too dry, but dry enough that it's not smooshy. Faba bean. I got this fresh. Usually it's very difficult to get them fresh, so this is all I could get. It's bubble bean. It comes, uh, it's a process. You need to de-skin them and cut them in half. So this is how it looks after you uh, de-skin them and cut them in half. In case you can find them, thank God, you can always buy the uh, frozen one from the specialty store usually the Persian store, or I have seen lately that Chinese have it too. Thank you. As I said, the deal is here. If you cannot, you don't have the time, there's always dry deal, which again, you can find them anywhere these days. You need salt. You need, of course, saffron, which looks like this to begin with. And you need to grind it. How do you grind saffron? If you have a coffee grinder, it works beautiful, it's great. If you don't, you can always use the mortar and the paste and just break it down and this is how it's gonna look. You need rice. This is three cup of rice. Today's recipe is for six people. So I have washed the rice and this is the rice you need. You need the basmati rice. I use deer, but there's plenty of them in the market now, usually Indian store or the specialty Persian store. So I wash my rice and you have to soak it. You need to soak it at least for two hours. So I washed it and you put probably four or five cup, uh, spoon of tea, uh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, salt, and you just let it sit. You mix it and you let it sit for at least two hours. You can go for 24 hours. What else? We have uh, oil. I use mozzarella and the ghee. Ghee looks like this. In the Indian and Persian street, you can find them. And this is how it looks. And, and of course, the pita bread. Pita bread is that. I think we got all the ingredients. And now I'm going to tell you how to make this delicious rice. Now that our, our rice is soaked for two hours and it's ready to start cooking, our next step would be in your non-stick uh, pot, you add 12 cup of cold water. The ratio is four to one. And you boil it and you add salt, which is probably about three fourth. Don't be generous with, right, uh, with salt, don't worry about it. Now we're gonna boil our cold water on high and cover for about probably five, 10 minutes, it depends on your stove. Now that our water is boiling and it's ready to be cooked, you drain your rice as much as you can the water because you do not want to have a cold water mixed into hot water. Then you pour it in. This is my trick. I take it with the water. I go around. And voila. And I just take it all in. Mix it a little bit. Add, add some more salt. It's okay, be generous with the salt, not too much. And you mix it. And you let it boil for maybe five minutes or longer, depending on what you're making. Since today we are making bagali polo, you want it to be al dente. You don't want it to cook too much because it's adding the dill, which has water in it, and fava bean has water in it. And a plain rice, you cook it a little bit longer. Rice is almost ready. I usually take one item and test it. 
and it's good. It breaks into two, but not too soft. Next, I am going to add my fava bean. Beautiful, it smells beautiful. And this one is a frozen one. So we add a roll and we just stir it. The aroma is coming out, it's delicious. And now we're gonna strain the rice. Okay, I'm gonna strain the rice and the fava bean that is mixed together. Rinse cold water in your pan. This is the trick. You take the ice and pour it over the rice again. So they get nice and separated and they don't stick together. Next, you're gonna pour some of the half of the oil on the bottom of your pot. This is for tagging. This is making to put your bread, which is, I cut them in half. I like to cut them in like four pieces, smaller pieces are better. And you just put it You just line them up like this, nice. Okay, you start pouring your rice all over, covering the bottom of the pan and the bread that you have. So I do probably about three of these. And then the best part is your dip. You spread the dip just evenly all over, covering it nicely. Okay, and then another layer of your rice. So you just keep on layering it. I usually go one, two, and three. And then your dip. And you wanna make sure your pot is big enough because it needs room to sort of cook and flavor and everything come out of it. One more. I might have made a little bit too much rice, but I always like to make more than this. Leftovers are always fun to have the next day. Okay. And the deep. And this is all covered up with dill nicely. And I like to just make a little hole in the middle of my rice and pour a little bit of the saffron. And now our rice is uh, the polo is ready to be cooked. You put it on sort of high because you need to do the tadic. The bread needs to sort of fry it on the bottom of it and cover it. And just watch it and smell it. It takes probably about three to five minutes for it. I want to explain what taddy is. Taddy is pita bread laid on the bottom of the pot with some oil. It's sort of fried bread, but it's not too fried and crispy. So they always say you can judge a cook by their, by their taddy. It has to be a nice color. You want it to be orangey, not black or brown. You want it to be crispy, but not burn, and you don't want it to be too soft. So I have it on medium high for a few minutes, and then we're gonna cover it with a cloth and uh, pour some hot water and more oil on it, and just uh, put it on medium low and let it cook for 40 minutes. Now our tadic is sizzling. I don't know if you hear it, it's like, it's ready. Okay, so next, I'm gonna pour, this is a mixture of the uh, rest of the oil and some hot water. You go around it and you just pour it. You hear that? And then you put it on medium. Ooh. And then I'm gonna cover it with a clean cloth or paper towel because you don't want any water to drop in your rice. And you just cover it nicely and tight, and tight, and it's gonna cook for 40 minutes. Our rice is cooked for about 40 minutes on medium low or even low is better depending on your stove again. And we are ready to soak up and transfer it in a nice plate. And first step, my saffron is ready. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my rice and just put it in the saffron. 
and mix it. This is for the top to give some color to it. Like this. I'll start with this, just layering and just put it in a plate. And this is the daddy. And the dinner is on the top. Sort of. can break the patties into sort of these sizes and put it around your plate. It smells delicious. I'm doing it with my hands, so be careful. You don't want to burn yourself. And this is the end result. Our bogani polo is ready. And I'm serving it tonight with a delicious white fish. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Next month, I'm making Fessenjun, which is a winter dish, and it's my uh, my son's favorite dish, too. It's made with pomegranate and walnut, and uh, do you want to miss it? Thank you.